Well, it's 2019 now, so you know what that means? It's been a whole another year of me doing this whole YouTube thing. And so, I figured I'd have my own YouTube rewind when I 2018. So if you guys stick around for the video, hope you enjoy it. This is kind of more just kind of talking about the channel and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you guys like these kind of videos, please make sure to type that like button. Let's me know when you see more content like this. But let's get right into the videos here. So, what I kind of want to do is just kind of give a review of my experience this year because this was hands down the best year i've ever had on and it's really all thanks to you guys because if it wasn't for you coming by channel watching the content and all that stuff i'd just be a guy yelling at a screen the whole time so uh not really useful right <laughs> but uh because of you guys uh i continuously have this motivation to make content and uh keep you guys entertained because i've always wanted to have an aspect of way of entertaining people either be music or gaming or some other kind of thing and uh this is kind of fine i feel like this, this year my channel has finally found its niche it's a little niche within the halo community something that can be found and is uh you know something i can make while also doing streaming and it's not too time intensive on my schedule here so i really felt like i found my path on youtube i've been doing this since 2010 yeah it's kind of ridiculous i've been doing youtube for this long uh but that's because i just didn't really know what i was doing and, and i feel like this year i finally found my path in youtube which is crazy to think about that it took me that long but uh, I think I finally understand how this whole thing works. For well, this video, I'm gonna go over some highlight videos and kind of talk to you guys about those, and also some highlights outside of gaming as well when it comes to uh, involving YouTube and stuff like that. So, I'm kind of talking about like my most viewed videos of this year. Uh, we had my most viewed video of the year of all time, it, well not all time, but of this year is the how to install Halo Online video, which kind of is weird because it's not really relevant anymore but people still click on it uh you know i put that video as soon as possible and it got up to like 30,000 33,000 and so uh i know a lot of guys came by my channel to find that uh video which is fantastic sadly enough 343 and one more microsoft had to be like we're gonna shut this down because those are our assets that you're using and you didn't you know, ask for them so that's a big shame right there that halo infinite kind of went down right there uh, it was, had so much potential to kind of regrow the community, especially on PC, since uh, Infinite's going to be on PC as well. That uh, help bring back a player base there, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Uh, sad potential loss there. Uh, we also had the Spartan Charge removed video. Uh, a little clickbaity, I will say yes. But hey, you know, they removed Spartan Charge from Team Arena, so they removed it from Halo Team Arena, right? <laughs> uh, that got like 25,000 views. That was kind of crazy as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm a small time YouTuber, man. I gotta, you know, I gotta be a little scumbaggy sometimes when, when it comes to titles because I gotta really be flashy with my titles and thumbnails because, uh, you know, I don't have that uh, viewer base that can uh, snowball effect its way to growth. Uh, if you have a channel that's like, you know, 30k, 40k, 50k, 100k thousand subscribers, yeah, you can just release a video and you can just continuously gain popularity because you have enough viewer base where your content would be featured. I was growing at the time and still am a lot. And so I need to kind of really work on making having really um, clickable titles and thumbnails without being too scumbag. Very fine line you have to ride as a YouTube guy. I'm just being honest with you guys on this one here. Uh, well, so we had the uh, Halo MCC update release announcement that had about 20,000 views as well. That that whole cycle, is for me, it's still very popular on this channel. We're giving you guys some MCC updates. I know a lot of you guys found me through doing MCC updates and why you kind of stuck around for those as well as other updates for like Infinite, a little bit for Halo 5 as well. So I do appreciate you guys coming by and staying with the channel, coming here for any of your Halo news. And so I really do appreciate that. Um, actually, funny thing is uh, my Destiny 2 How to D Kill 10 Powerful Fallen video uh, got really kind of got a resurgence with the uh, what the recent Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC had a real big surge on that one. But I think we're kind of close to 20,000 views on that video as well, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's been like two years now. It's been a full year now since I've posted anything involving Destiny because, well, they have such an established community. I have no chance in making any kind of worthwhile content that won't get smothered by other bigger channels. And uh, also my mystery game added to MCC video, basically a speculation. 
talking about how I think uh, some game like maybe Reach will be added to MCC someday. I um, mean, you know, it is on 343's radar to be added into the game. Uh, and, you know, it, it was like... <laughs> It was a it was a bit of a scumbaggy thumbnail. We'll give you guys that like red box arrow pointing at it. Mystery game, <laughs> like this, yeah. It's you know kind of just talking speculation and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, man, it's rough out here as a small time YouTuber. You gotta you gotta make yourself look really a, rather rather appealing. <laughs> uh, my most liked video was my Spartan charge removed video, when it also happened to be my most disliked video. Uh, that's just because of the sheer amount of people have checked it out my worst like to dislike ratio video was my halo online server browser fix and that video kind of got sabotaged because the day i released that halo infinite updated their servers completely and the server browser completely and so then it was like kind of a useless video uh was you know a couple hours after i released it which was a shame so i got a lot of dislikes on that one uh, for the worst dislike ratio uh which i'm checking my notes here as well uh highlights of this year uh, well, actually, let's go with now on my notes is my favorite video that I released this year probably would have to be my here comes infinite video because uh, It's something a little more different than just kind of reading off like updates and things like that or kind of speaking my mind I uh, do which I do quite a bit on this channel, which I do appreciate guys like let you like that aspect of the channel uh, This one kind of brought in a little bit other stuff. I like to do which is I really like playing music I love singing I love playing guitar I'm kind of mediocre at both, but you know, I try to do my best. And so combining music and Halo and video editing all together kind of made it to probably my most favorite video I made. I made that all in one night, by the way, as well, which was kind of crazy to think about. And uh, also that video comes into my next segue into my next segment is my highlights outside of the channel as a whole. Um, the coolest thing, one of the coolest things that happened this year was that uh, the Halo, Here Comes Infinite you know, Christmas parody video was featured on 343's website. That was so cool. And what made it even better is that it was featured at the top of the update. It wasn't buried underneath every all the other stuff they wanted to talk about. Uh, Unishek put that video at the very top of the update and it was... So like if you're checking out the update you're gonna see this video which is crazy and now it's uh i went from about 500 views on that video to just under 2000 now so if, if you guys came from the channel from that video uh, i appreciate it sticking by i really do and uh so that was a huge update it was a big big sigh of relief too because i really wanted to get part of that community spotlight and just kind of get featured on the on the web page of 343's uh halo waypoint and uh, I upped, I sent in the video to Twitter saying Halo Spotlights on Twitter to like, Unishek and to Sketch and I think even Grim and some other people as well. And uh, they just didn't see it. They got smothered between all the other spotlight stuff because they kind of got spammed with the last three days I think I sent it in. So understandable why they didn't see it. But then I sent it again, just like talking. I even met, went to Unishek's uh, a live stream be like hey did you happen to catch the video like why was it not on there because i was super bummed i didn't get in there because i felt like the content i made that video was like one of the best videos i made on this channel and i think it was really well done and i think it was something that should have totally been in the spotlight but then they just didn't see it because it got smothered by other stuff uh but then to be feet not only that a bit so that kind of really bumped me out but then when i checked that last update from 343 and then i was on the top of the page it made missing that spotlight irrelevant because this was way better to be even featured on the community spotlight because this is the last update of the year talking about the games themselves so you get some information out of it and my video was on the top crazy so i want to say thank you very much unishek for that update it really was one of the best things that happened to me this year it was other highlight this year involving halo was going to see the halo finals i've never been to a competitive gaming event as a whole much less anything doing with halo uh, just because i haven't really come across anything around in seattle that i was able to attend at the time and so they had the halo world finals happening here in seattle for the one million dollar prize pool and so, you know, your boy had to go see that. And it was amazing. It was such a great time. I, even my girlfriend came with me. She sat through and watched Halo with me. She even enjoyed it too. I got to meet some people as well, like uh, Fast Like Dar. I've always wanted to meet that guy. Uh, uh, I got to meet up with Taquin, Proximity, uh, Reclaimer. Uh, I got to meet Walshy. Uh, I even got to meet Tom French from 343 as well. Like, it was cool to kind of just get a chance to meet all these people. Sparticat, or uh, 
you know, from uh, Ultimate Halo as well. I got to meet up with him because he was like doing a demonstration there as well. So that was so cool to get a chance to be part of an event with so many like-minded people. Because when you think about it, it's kind of silly to go to the event in person, right? Because like, well, you're just watching a screen. You can do that at home. Like, why? Well, there's no, what's the difference from you know, watching it at home than you do in person? Um, but the thing is that like you. You, when you're at the event, it's so much more of an experience because uh, you got so many people getting excited for these same moments that you're excited for as well. Because I'm guaranteed if you're watching one of these like pro Halo player events and you see like a hype play happen, like someone gets a crazy overkill, you're, you know, you're watching, you're like, oh, that was nice. But then you're surrounded by 500 other people who are feeling the exact same thing. Like I remember there was one point I was standing up cheering because like I remember this one play slide down got like an overkill to save the flag and people were getting hyped. It was awesome and it was so much fun. Absolutely do it. If you guys have the opportunity, if you have a Halo event happening around your area, like within three hour drive, go do it. It's going to be fun. I've I even seriously contemplated about going to Atlanta and, and also St. Louis, but I just couldn't really uh, justify the cost for flying out there and so uh, that was a shame right there but hopefully uh, we'll have another time to go to another Halo event which is awesome and I think my last major highlight of this year was PAX 2018 uh, I've been to PAX a couple times before it happens here in Seattle every year uh, just a big uh, big huge gaming convention you know it's kind of fun to go around play some games before release and uh, just kind of be around the whole atmosphere of the whole thing uh, but this year was very special because I, I got to actually hang out with a lot of uh, Halo YouTube guys that you know, I've watched their content streams so many times on YouTube and Twitch and then I actually get a chance to meet up with them and you know, say hi, introduce myself to them, you know, make some connections with people that I've you know, watched with the whole time. But also not only that, but hang out with them. Like we got sandwiches and like, you know, hung out and like watched events and stuff like that. That was super cool. Um, so, and I got the chance to really, get, you know, spend some quality time with Uber Nick. That was just super cool. Uh, got to meet up with Talkman again. Um, Marty Caswell, uh, Fletch from Ultimate Halo, uh, William, or Pixel Flare, you know, I got to meet up with him. And uh, Astro, who's like this 13, 14 year old girl, but she was hanging out with us, who does like Halo streams. That was fun. Um, and uh, it was just a really, really awesome time. Got the guy, like, we just hung out and like got food and like spent time together it was just after like the packs this year oh i got to meet like Hackman and like luke the notable um hidden xperia just like oh halo cannon as well like oh and you know general kid like there was so many guys that came out it was so great and it was so awesome that like i feel like after that packs event i actually walked away with like some friends which was kind of crazy to think about. So I've done this YouTube thing like so solo up until this point that uh, to be able to connect with these people and not just be like, oh, hey, I do Halo YouTube as well. How cool is that? But then like also like get a chance to like spend time with them, get to know them, you know, and, uh, you know, just exchange, you know, Twitter accounts and stuff. It was fun. Um, so, yeah, I really did uh, appreciate everyone there. Uh, let me hang out with you guys and how um, so it was just a great time one of the best times of my life I'm sure for sure and so yeah that's 2018 right there uh, like I said definitely one of my best years on YouTube hands down we had the most growth on the channel as well we had we gained 2,000 subscribers within a year which is uh, for when I started out this year it's like a 66% growth that's pretty damn awesome right there. Now, I really feel like I found my path on YouTube where I can give stuff that's something informational because I always like having videos that are informational. You can walk away learning something or taking something away from the video rather than just being like me going ooh ah at gaming and stuff like that. And uh, I feel very strong about 2019 moving forward. You know, I don't really necessarily have any like goals to say when it comes to like subscriber counts or views or anything like that my goal is to be my main goal is to be more part of this community online community here on twitch and on youtube uh i say my main goal outside of gaming uh this year our uh, main goal outside of youtube this year definitely i want to be i want to get invited to 343 that's my main goal this year 
Uh, I want to be not notable enough to where 343 wants to invite me to come see uh, something that they, you know, they, they do every year at PAX. And so I would really like to get a chance at that. I want to go see that Halo Museum. That's like one of my personal goals right there. And, uh, you know, also get a chance to meet up like, back again with everybody over at PAX. That would be just a really fun experience again. And so uh, just, you know, looking forward to make more connections here on YouTube. You know, f hang out with more friends, uh, hate like-minded people, and just have a good time making content for you guys and uh, streaming and just everything else in between. So um, the biggest thing, though, the greatest part about this whole thing is you, the viewers, because without you guys, like I said earlier, this would be nothing. So you guys are the lifeblood of this channel, and I just want to say thank you so much for your continuous support. Now, I do probably get sound like a broken record when I say that on Twitter quite often, but I really do mean it because uh, there's so many other, there's plenty of other people you can spend time watching, but you come by here, and so that means something to me a lot. So thank you guys very much for watching. That's my, you know, YouTube rewind for 2018. So thank you very much for watching and continually watching. Let's uh, hope that 2019 is going to be a great year. I have some big hopes for it. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.